chapter 4.1 exercises 44 and 45 and 53 and 54 arc length applications. We're going to usually do the odd number problems, but we're going to start out working up partially this even number problem, number 44. Automobile design. The table shows the size specifications for the tires that come with standard equipment on three different American vehicles. We have Ford Taurus, Dodge Charger, Mercury, Mariner. And part A, find the speed of each vehicle in miles per hour when the wheels are turning at 800 revolutions per minute. Well, in this case, we're going to use an arc length formula, but an arc length formula that relates instead of with the angle, with the angle of, in rotation frequency. And so that's going to be S, uh, sort of like an arc length formula, equals the radius times, instead of theta, we're going to put this W looking Greek letter, which is called, uh, I think that's omega. And let's work this out. We have, we're trying to find the speed. Well, the speed is equal to our See our radius. Well, radius is going to be let's see diameter is going to be for this Ford Taurus. It's going to be 26.16 inches, and the radius is going to be one half of 26.16 inches, which is going to be 13.08 inches. And I kind of did that in my head. 26 divided by 2 is 13, 0.16 divided by 2 is 0 0.08. So S is going to be our 13.08 inches times 800. And that's going to be in, in revolutions per minute. So we're going to get inches per minute when we work this out. So S equals 13.08 times 800. And I forgot one more thing I'm going to add to my drawing times 2 pi. Okay, and we get 65,747.3 times 2 pi. And 2 pi, why is it 2 pi? Because every revolution, okay, we have a revolution, the angle of revolution in radians is 2 pi. So we have to take that 800 times 2 pi to get our total distance. So this is going to be in inches per minute. Now we're going to apply our dimensional analysis to find miles per hour. So we have 65,747.3 inches per minute. And what do we do to cancel out inches? Well, we multiply by one foot over 12 inches and the inches over inches cancel each other so now we have feet per minute we want to find miles so we go to what do we do to convert feet to miles well we have one mile for every 5,280 feet and the feet over feet will cancel each other. Cancellation, cancellation. And finally, we want to convert we want to convert these minutes into hours. So 
in this case we have 60 minutes per hour. So dimensional analysis has, let me write that a little more neatly, 60 minutes per hour. So dimensional analysis will have us multiply this uh, 65, 747.3 times 60 divided by 12 times 280. So we get a vision here. I'm going to put control ANS, which is the last number calculated, which is this, times 60 divided by 12 times 5,280 feet per mile. And what do we get? We get 62.26. Is that right? 62.26 miles per hour. Does that make sense? Probably does make sense. We'll put about 62.26 miles per hour. So that's going to be our answer to part part uh, A. This is for the speed of a Ford Taurus. Okay. Practical uses of arc length. Next. Uh, you have to go on and find these other Dodge Charger, Mercury Mariner, compared Make comparison C as you project and uh, how the tire diameter change will affect the odometer and speed. 45 bicycle racing. Nick Kathy Nguyen races on a bicycle with 13 inch raised wheels. When she's traveling a speed of 44 feet per second, how many revolutions per minute are her wheels making? Well, in this case, we're going to have to convert this 13 inches into feet. So we'll have the same units. So 13 inches, we're going to convert to feet by multiplying by, let's see, we get actually dividing by 12 inches per foot. So the diameter is going to be 13 divided by 12. So 13 twelfths, uh, we're going to decimalize it, which we don't have to, but we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, control equal 1.08333. Okay, that's our, that's going to be our radius in, in feet, seven inches. When she's traveling a speed of 44 feet per second, how many revolutions per minute are her wheels making? Well, a one revolution is going to be equal to 2 pi r, which in this case is going to be 2 pi times 1.08333. Three, three, three. So one revolution is equal to 2 times pi, there's pi, times the last number calculated, which is this one here, control, ANS, enter. We get 6.80678, 6.8, And what might you ask? Well, that's going to be the number of feet. And we're traveling at 44 uh, feet per second. And so how many revolutions are we going to have per second? How many revolutions is that going to be? Our speed is going to be 44 feet 
per second. So let's go ahead and find forty four feet. Divided by and let's see how many revolutions is that. It's going to be forty four divided by control ENS. So six point four six four one four. That's going to be revolutions per second. And if we want to convert 6.46414 revolutions per second, we need to convert seconds, in this case 60 seconds, per minute. And we have second or seconds cancel. And so we're going to get 6.46 times 60. So we're going to go control ANS, which is 6.46 times 60. So we're going to get 97.85 revolutions per minute, which RPM. All right, that's problem number 45. Let's go to problem number 53, mechanical engineering. A simple pulley with given radius R uh, used to lift heavy objects in position 10 feet above ground level. Given the pulley rotates theta degrees, determine the height to which object is lifted. Well, in this case, we have our arc length formula, S equals R theta. But in this case, we have, our, we have our R, we have our theta, but our theta is in degrees. So we need to convert 720 degrees into radians, and to do that, we multiply by pi over 180. And 720... divided by 180 equals 4. Oops, wrong one. Equals 4 pi radians. In this case, we have s equals r theta. Well, r is, r is 4, so s which could be our height, is equal to 4 inches times 4 pi. And so we're going to be equal to, S is equal to 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 16 pi, and that's going to be inches. And if we just move, that's going to be approximately 50 inches, I think. Or a little over 50 inches. 16 times pi. Yeah, a little over 50 inches. 50.26, 50.27 inches, 50.3 inches. So 50.3 inches. All right, so that'll be the height to which object is lifted. And let's look ahead and look at part B. Again, it's the same form. We have we have uh, S equals R theta. And in this case, R equals two feet. 
and theta equals 180 degrees. Well, 180 degrees, let's convert that to radians. 180 degrees times pi over 180 cancels, cancels. So we have pi radians. So pi radians is our angle. And we have S equals R theta. So S is equal to number of feet 2 times pi radians. So we're going to get uh, S equals 2 pi, what is it, feet, 2 pi feet, and that's going to be approximately 6.28, I believe, 2 times pi, Yeah, 6.283, actually. 6.283 feet. So, anyway, applications of arc length, the arc length formula, I hope this has been helpful to you, and that it will help you with your your uh, classwork slash homework assignment. Thanks.